Hey guys, I know it's been a long time since I made a real video other than a short, but I was sitting here, I've got this stack of these mini ESP32 minis, and I'm programming them, getting ready to stick them up on the store, and so I thought I'd make a little video and show you what I was doing. So this is the V1, which was, it's the original mini that we've been talking about for a long time. Okay, and then, uh, so that was from last September. And then I did a lot of testing on that. You can see I got, got one, uh, let's see if I can get my camera focused over there. Yeah, there's one over there I've been fooling around with. And then I made this V2, and the V2 is basically the same as the V1, but it has more capacitance because you see there's a there's a regulator right down there, and so you can put five volts over here, and it will uh, regulate it down to the 3.3 that the ESP32 needs. But I added a couple of well, I, I added bigger capacitors and I added a few extra capacitors in this V2. But the V1 runs just fine. That's what I've been working and testing with. Okay, so I'm just programming all of these over here in these bags, and then um, I'm going to put them on the store uh, so you guys can try them out. And you know, I always put stuff up on the store. Pretty much at cost. I mean, I'm not really trying to make money at this, but they're up there for you guys to to try out. Okay, so and, and there's uh, there's fun boards up there too, so don't forget that. So what I did to program these things because they're minimal size, it's about as small of a development board as you can get, and fit the necessary stuff on there. Switches. Uh, there's a regulator. There's some LEDs right there, and then it's it's breadboard friendly. See, so it fits fits in that breadboard just fine. So it's about as small as you can get. So I took the USB off of there, and instead I'm using just plain serial. So what I've got is this little jig right there, and it, these are some pogo pins, right? Little up and down, push up and down things, and this is just connected to this which is a USB to serial adapter All right so that's plugged in over there on my computer and then I just have to let's just do this v1 I'm running the v2 software in here but it's a v1 board but they run the same software so all I got to do is drop that in there alright and the power LED comes on and the pogo pens are touching see those three right there those three uh, is uh, input output and uh, so RX TX and a ground right and that's what we need to do it and then one of them over there see that runs over to uh, to the 5 volt input over here on this side okay so that's our setup on this thing and uh, let me show you how I program it so I'm jumping over to my computer now okay so what we're dealing with is I have two images so this is just a MicroPython image and then this is a MicroPython image with the software that I've written for this okay and all of this stuff of course is available um, in my repository on GitLab right so uh, let's pop open a terminal here and the first thing that we want to do is erase the flash. So we get that thing started and it's looking and I got to push these two buttons and then it should pick it up. Yep, it picked it right up and it's erasing the flash. It says it's going to take a while, but it won't take very, very long. Okay. And then once the flash has been erased, then we can go to the load so you can see this is the actual image that I'm loading right there so it's got it's got some basic software to run all run all this stuff some extra MicroPython stuff that I've written again check the repository for all of that so I hit that get that going and then again you got to push the program button and then hit the reset button that's the program button that's the reset button okay now so it's picked it up and it's going through the programming all right so let's just give that a minute I mean it doesn't take very long even though this is a full image it's still only gonna take a few seconds to push it up there 
we're 90 percent right now uh yes the extra software that i have on there is um just runs the led and hooks up to the internet connects to easy iot and stuff like that so okay i'll, I'll maybe i'll show you that in a second okay so now we've got the image on there i'm going to go ahead and I'm looking for oh yeah there's picocom so i'm going to go ahead and connect up so we're connected up now i'm going to hit the reset button and here it comes up uh running esp mini it does a scan a network scan it's looking for a place to connect it connected okay then it updated the real-time clock it connected to easy iot it's turning that led on and off and what do we do here Turn the LED on and off a couple of times. We're, uh, here's some built-ins. So it's got the ST tree, ST mem, or, you know, memory. What's all this other? Oh, and this is just all the stuff that's available, right? So, and then now it's just uh, looping, turning the LED on and off. Okay, so that one's all programmed and it's ready to go. So. All we've got to do here is control C and then control AX to get out of PicoCom and we're ready to go with the next one. So just pop this one out and then we can pop this one in. Actually, I think I've already programmed this one, but I'll stick it in there anyway. Let me... Uh, Uh, maybe I haven't programmed this one. Oh yeah, I've already programmed this one. Okay, so that one works too. Anyway, that's what's going on. Got my little jig going here. I'm going to get all these programmed up over here. Got these bags. I don't know. I got about 15 of these things, I think. And I'll put them up on the store for you guys. I want to try. Oh, that's an empty bag. There's one. If you guys want to give them a give them a shot later.